what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Jordan and today I'm doing my what's in my pen case video um, if you do like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and without further ado let's just get right into it so this is my pencil case I got it from Topshop I believe they have this uh, paper store in the Topshop where I live so it's just this simple pencil case there's one compartment on this side, one on this side, and then the big one in the middle. So I really like that it has multiple compartments. Um, starting with the big compartment. So as you can see, I have like a bunch of pens. I have a mini whiteout. I have my USB, which I need because I have all my projects on there for school. A tiny little eraser. I have also this little sharpener that I got from Muji. And then I have a bunch of Muji gel pens, if I can find the last one. So I have two black ones, one in 0.5, one in 0.38. I have the clicker pen, which I really like because it has a grip unlike the rest of these ones. Um, and this one is also in 0.5. And then I have a red and a blue pen for marking and diagrams, and they're both in 0.38. Next up, I have some pencils. They're just some simple mechanical pencils. Absolutely nothing special about these guys. They are just in 0.7 millimeter lead and I just have them for tests because not all tests let you write in pen. And then I have my uh, Pit Artist Faber Castell pens and this is the typical set of four that usually you can find at Staples or Michaels or whatever and this is um so I have the medium, I have the brush pen, I have the fine and the small. And this is just for um, sketching and stuff. I also have some mild liners and I use these in my, or I keep these in my pencil case because when I'm taking notes, I like to color coordinate my subjects. So I have each of these colors designated to one subject that I'm taking. For example, this is for my graphic design society class. The yellow is for my marketing class. So it just helps me keep everything organized. And then I also have three more liners. These are the Staedtler pigment liners. I have one in 0.1, one in 0.5, and one in 0.3. This just came as a set, and I, again, use it for sketching and doing drawings. And then lastly, I have, or not lastly, um, second last in this big compartment, I have my um, Staedtler drawing pencils. This just came in a giant pack with all of these pencils and I just keep them in there in the bottom. And then that way I have them on me at all times so that I can do my sketches. And then the last thing that I have in my big compartment is this tiny calculator that I got from Staples. And this just comes in handy when I'm doing marketing so that I don't have to borrow a calculator or use my phone. So yeah, that's my large compartment. Where everything for the most part lives and then on the sides so on this first side is just my ruler it's just a tiny metal ruler that I got from Staples it's got the cork backing and it's just six inches which is really small and a weird size but it fits in my pencil case so that's nice it's easy to carry and then on the other side it's a Velcro and then there's a zipper as well. So I just keep my X-Acto knife, which I have for projects and cutting paper and everything. I also have these little sticky notes, which I got, got from Muji and they're really nice because you can make them like tabs for organizing. And then at the bottom, I have two different kinds of paper clips. I have these ones, they're little cat paper clips, if you can see. So I have them in different colors. I have one in blue, one in yellow, one in pink. I'll get them out for you. One in white and one in orange. So these are really cute and I'm really happy I have these. I also have more in my room, but this is all I wanted to carry at school. And then I just have some regular paper clips just in case someone else needs them and I don't want to give them mine. And yeah, so it's a very, it's a very compact pencil case. I really like the size. I love how many compartments there are to it. And I love how much stuff I can fit into it, even though it kind of looks really bulky. It definitely fits everything I need it to fit, which reminds me, I should probably put my stuff back in. 
This whiteout doesn't entirely fit, but it's okay. It fits if I make it. And yeah, that is my pencil case. I definitely recommend a pencil case like this with multiple compartments. It's really handy for if you have a lot of different things that you need and if you want certain things in different sections like how I have my ruler on the one side and the exacto knife on another. And I like that it is just very simple. And yeah, so I hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up like I mentioned before and always let me know in the comments what you thought and if you want to see more videos like this, um, I would, I'm totally open for suggestions and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!